Well, um, as you saw, it was a super competitive game. It's supposed to be that way. Uh, never supposed to be an easy game. Uh, we're always supposed to respect your opponent, which we did. Uh, I'm proud of our guys and how we fought from start to finish. Uh, every possession matters. As you can see, every possession counts. So, enthused to the fact that we got this win tonight. Derek, you want to start us off? Juwan, David DeJulius had a nice game tonight. He scored 10 points. What impressed you the most about his performance? Well, he's so super confident, uh, and that's great because he's a competitor, and David wants it. He puts in a lot of work, uh, comes into practice, comes in off days. Uh, not only he's just getting up shots, but he's also getting into the film, uh, learning the game, and that's some of the best teaching right there. So overall, I'm so happy for him. Down in front with Chris. I'll just talk about John's development, continued development in the post and, and as a go-to guy for you. When did you know that he was going to have that role for you? Was it early on when you first saw him? Oh, it was early on back when uh, I watched some of the games when I was with the Heat and watching the Michigan games. I was like, wow, John, uh, his game has improved year, year by year. Uh, yes, at that time, he played a lot away from the basket. So when I got the job here in uh, Michigan, I was like, well, you know, I would like to uh, utilize his post presence. He embraced it. We worked on it this summer. He's getting better and better. Um, we'll use him in that post as well as on the outside. Are you from with Jonathan? Coach, uh, just a slow start tonight. Um, is it just something we're working on here and we're going to see more progression as the season comes along? Or is it just something new with the new system that you're enrolling in? Well, I think uh, overall, let's not, um, let's not get, you know, sort of that, sidestepped or uh, ignore the fact that Elon is uh, better than what people give credit for. The last game they played against Georgia Tech, you know, it wasn't uh, an easy game for them. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to have easy games. I didn't consider Elon to be an easy game. Uh, we don't look at our opponents that way. Uh, we respect every team that we play. Yes, we do not fear anyone, but first half, uh, it, it was a Slugfest, you would say. All right. Going back to the topic of David, when did you see him really turn the corner and embrace this role of six man? Well, I saw it in our first scrimmage game versus the uh, University of Detroit. Do you think his scoring line certainly helps him in that role when he wants Well, David is a combo guard for us, so he will play some one and two. Uh, David will embrace any and every role that we have put in front of him. And, uh, we had a great discussion and talk about uh, his expectations as well as his own personal goals and his role. And, uh, I'm just happy that uh, he embraced it and accepted it. You know, we're going to lean on him. There'll be some games where he, he's going to have to give us that energy off the bench. And tonight was that. Back room, Coach. Um, how do you see the rotation changing with Fox coming back in a game or two with the, with the guards, Adrian and Dave getting it? I haven't even gotten that far yet. I don't mean that out of disrespect. Uh, I'm just taking one game at a time. And, uh, Franz right now is not healthy. When he gets back, then we'll uh, cross that road. Does anybody have? Chris? We saw Cole late. When did you uh, make the decision to, to burn his red shirt? And uh, do you hope that he will? Cole Badgema? Yeah, which we What'd you say after that? You're going to burn his red shirt, uh, and, and when did you make that decision to do that? And uh, I never communicated or talked about it. Right. Shirt and cold. Yep, but this is the first time he's played, so yeah. is that something that uh, you would hope that he would get more minutes going on and he's going to have to earn? Cole, Cole yep. has uh, been working hard to practice uh, each and every day. He's been getting better. Uh, this week was a really good week in practice that Cole had, and uh, I've seen a lot of growth from Cole. Let's keep in mind, he's just fresh out of high school. He hasn't played in the Big Ten. He hasn't played in the collegiate level yet. I was once cold. I was a freshman. It takes time, you know. Yeah, there are some guys who sort of like they step right in and play right away and uh, hit the ground running. Other guys, it's a process. I'm ready with Andrew. How much right now are you sort of calling plays for specific guys versus laying the ball off? Well, I, our plays is specifically what I call is for the team. But yeah, 
There are moments where within our play set where it may look like I'm uh, going to John every time down the floor, but John is talented. John is 7'1", skilled big man. Uh, it's important that we look at him first before we take a shot. Over here with Abigail. Coach, uh, what did you see in the first half that you think maybe offensively could have some room for improvement? More ball movement. More player ball movement, I saw. Um, you know, there were some shots that we we had open shots, and we, they didn't go down. Um, but I told my guys that pretty much, hey, those open looks, it's going to fall. Just stay with it. you got to have that next play mentality. Don't start, you know, making a compound mistake where you're thinking about your offense because, you know, the ball is not going in, and then you're giving up, you know, a shot or you're giving up an open basket on the defensive end. But our guys stay with it, kept plugging away. Take one more from Andrew. When you got a week off before your next game, I guess, can you give some insight into how to handle that, where that philosophy comes from, of how to deal with yeah, a gap like that? Well, I know starting practice on Sunday, uh, we will get back to the basics and keep uh, growing and keep uh, growing as a group. Uh, our, our guys, they're they always come into practice ready to work. Uh, they always energetic. So we'll continue to keep building our our identity on the offensive and defensive end. Uh, each practice that we have leading up to Houston Baptist. Can we do it, coach?